Hi everyone, I'm Tom Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do logit analysis for aggregated data by maximum likelihood method. The logit analysis is useful when you have x variables as a certain amount of inputs and y variable as a binary response for x. This is typical aggregated data format. For example, for subpopulation 1 group, we can consider one or more uh, covariates as x variables. And certain number of samples are tested to get binary response. And we treat y1 as a responded number of samples from n1. One thing you need to bear in mind is that mi and ni are included in the likelihood formula. So we can say that we give a weight for each subpopulation. All right. I have prepared simple data from this book. There are five subgroups, and in each group, there are 30 sample sizes. And uh, there are a uh, number of responses as a response variable. So once you read this data into R, you can use a GRM function. So response over size tilde x, comma, weight equal size. Then you can get logit analysis. So in this video, I would like to focus on how to calculate these main outputs. All right, let's calculate O's first. So we give an initial uh, figure for B0 and B1 and 0 and 0. The, the O's can be calculated by B0 plus B1 multiplied by X. And the probability can be calculated by O's over 1 plus O's. Right. Then uh, log likelihood, we can use this fo uh, formula. So please remember MI and NI. That if we uh, take log logarithm here to get log likelihood, then the formula uh, will be uh, mi here multiplied by b0 plus b1 multiplied by x. Okay, then uh, minus uh, ni here and I multiply by log uh, 1 plus exponential uh, B0 plus B1 multiply by X. Right. Okay, then let's calculate minus 2 uh, log likelihood. So minus 2 multiplied by sum of log likelihood here. So again, you know, um, we can maximize log likelihood and also uh, same as uh, uh, minimize minus 2 log likelihood. So uh, in Excel, uh, we can use over function here. So Let's uh, set objective from uh, minus 2 log likelihood and changing values from B0 and B1. And uncheck this box, uh, we can, uh, then uh, we can allow negative uh, figures. Then click solve. Right. So uh, we were able to find uh, the maximize, uh, coefficient to maximize log likelihood. So this is uh, coefficients for logit analysis. So it is same as uh, our outputs. Then uh, let's calculate standard error, All right? So in order to calculate standard error, we can consider uh, this inverse x prime wx, okay? So let's calculate the w here. So uh, w uh, information is from uh, probability and sample sizes. So uh, it's, it's kind of a weight and multiply by probability 
multiply by 1 minus probability. Okay. Right. Then this uh, information should go to uh, diagonal elements to calculate standard error. So this one is from this one. The second one is from second. Third elements is here. And fourth elements here and the fifth elements are from here okay then let's calculate inverse of x prime uh, double x so select uh, two by two cells and then uh, and merge and transpose transpose of x comma and W and again and merge comma and W matrix okay. then uh, we need to consider inverse so M inverse Right, then uh, we need to press Ctrl Shift Enter uh, to calculate uh, matrix computation. So Ctrl Shift Enter. Right. Then this is the uh, information. So we need to uh, to get a standard error. Uh, we need to use uh, this vari uh, variance covariance matrix. So square root of first elements. Okay, and square root of uh, 2 by 2 uh, elements here right so standard error is from this one and b1 standard error is this one right this one is uh, same as this one so g value can be calculated by coefficients over standard error okay same and p value can be calculated by uh, 1 minus uh, standardized normal distribution uh, so okay uh, sorry it's a little bit uh, capture this uh, cut sorry uh, normal distribution and z value so look at this part yeah uh, comma and true okay and in uh, our program it used two-sided so we need to multiply by two right so 151 151 okay and this one the uh, for b0 so it's a uh, g value is negative so we don't need a uh, one minus part here right so same as uh, this one Alright, this is all uh, information uh, related to uh, coefficients, right? Okay, let's move on to uh, Debian's part. So, uh, according to this uh, McClough and Nelda uh, book, uh, there is a Debian's function here. So. I want to use uh, this yeah this function so uh, let's calculate uh, mu hat first uh, this part so mu hat is from uh, total sample sizes multiplied by uh, probability okay and then uh, we can use this one mi is actually a total number of uh, sample sizes so it's same as uh, total sample sizes here so to multiply by uh, yi uh, multiply by log of yi over mu hat okay. and so let's use two plus this delete this one let, let, uh, let's add this part later so uh, plus uh, mi total number of sample sizes minus uh, yi 
multiplied by uh, log of mi minus yi over mi minus mu here okay and then let's multiply by 2 okay all right so if we sum uh, some of all this data Zero point three eight three three seven eight seven five. All right, cool. So in uh, CS, uh, if you run uh, this uh, logic analysis, uh, CS has likely ratio. So it's same as residual deviance. Okay, and let's move on to uh, ratio or odds ratio. So you know, in uh, logistic regression or logic analysis, uh, odds ratio uh, is important to impor important to understand. Uh, the meaning of uh, the this model so from B1 uh, this one All right so when X increases by 1 uh, the odds ratio increases uh, 3.2 so let's calculate from uh, the data part here so let's calculate odds ratio from data so X1 was over yeah, x0. Yeah, same as uh, this one. So again, for example, if I uh, calculate odds ratio uh, from uh, x1 to x2, then x2 minus uh, over x uh, equals 1, then we have got same uh, result. So, uh, in which uh, where, where, wherever you choose uh, two interval two data points here we can get same odds ratio right so that's it for uh, logic analysis for aggregated data i hope it was useful for you to understand logic analysis uh, for this aggregated data please click like and subscribe if uh, it was useful and if you are looking forward to seeing uh, watch more useful video in the future thank you